Since the beginning of time, man has been both puzzled and intrigued by mysteries. Who or what built Easter Island, and why? What about the Bermuda Triangle, UFOs, and what exactly is the Loch Ness Monster? People today continue to be fascinated with mysteries of strange deaths and disappearances. And as I discovered today, some mysteries are right here in our own backyard. Well, I'm a junior. I've been here three years. And I can't figure this place out. Have you ever noticed there's no number on the door? Clayton Ramsayer, a student at Gross Point High School, is only one of the people curious and a little scared about the strange second floor area known simply as the Blue Room. Why? Look at what our cameras discovered. Ancient hieroglyphics. Maps of strange places. And cryptic, possibly encoded wall charts. And how about these strange boxed records? of a civilization long perished? What librarian Mr. Roberts, who works near the site, wouldn't tell us, chilled this reporter's bones. At North's library for four and a half years now. And I go in every part of the library. I go into the corners. I go into the stacks. It's dark. Um, I'll go into classrooms before they're opened up in the morning. I don't have any problems, but there's one place in this library that I still don't even like to think about going into. Something happened shortly after I started working here. I can't explain it. I don't know what it is. I don't even know how to describe it. I can't begin to describe it. But I will not go into the blue room. There's something about it. Anthropologists now think that that weird black box may have been an ancient communications tool. And these? Trays for a primitive form of pizza. Student Ramsayer raises other questions. I don't know who put these chairs here, and maybe I don't want to know, but whoever did it meant something by it. Many questions remain about this place they call the Blue Room at Gross Point North High School. For instance, is it really a room? Why is it blue? There's one thing that's certain. When those questions are answered, you will be the first to know. For WGPN News and Gross Point North High School, I'm Jeff Hastings.